Bonjour, mon ami. Welcome to our channel. And today we will speak about new fragrances in our store. Yeah, but we, I'm, I, you know, for many months I always give a pledge not to add anything <laughs> new, but uh, it's impossible. It, it, he say it each week, but it, each week we receive something new. Yeah, yeah. I'm, t I'm trying my best uh, to push away new, uh, new fragrances, new fragrance houses because. No, it's, it's not impossible possible. always. Yeah, but it's not possible yeah. because you have addiction. You need to go to the group, fragrance in, in addicted people. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Wendy, after you will stop. <laughs> let's let's smell what we have. First will be. So first is the Holy Rose from Room Ten Fifteen. You know we uh, we received Room Ten Fifteen I think four months ago uh, in our store. Oh, yes. Number three. Three. Yeah, something about three, four months ago. And uh, initially that fragrance, I don't know why we decided not to add to the collection, but with the time and after, after we had a smelling session with the founder, Dr. Mike, he explained us about this fragrance. So we decided, okay, maybe we should give it a try. So now is the time. This fragrance arrived. It's... What? Portrait of a lady? Yeah, it's about rose. It's like woody, spicy mm -hmm. rose. The brand have a signature for woody, kind of a little bit dusty, spicy fragrances, but spicy, not a, not spi like, like mild spicy, like cardamom mm -hmm. based. We will check the pyramids right now. So this fragrance is mostly about black currant. I don't feel. No, mm -hmm. black pepper, mm -hmm. nothing. nothing. Rose, Rose, yes. yes. <laughs> Orchid, yes. And, and patchouli. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no woody. But you know, uh, I think um, I think uh, it, it is Jerome Pinet as well. Yeah, Jerome Pinet. The perfumer behind this fragrance, Jerome Pinet. And um, what he did always in the fragrances, not, doesn't matter if it's cherry punk, for example, we, you cannot feel the structure. You cannot yeah. feel it. It's composed so good, so for you it smells quite different. Oh, you, do you remember the sonic uh, sonic flower? Yeah. We always uh, smell it like pure juice. Nothing with the pears inside. Same here. It's for me. It's woody rose. I I cannot and a spicy a bit, but more like cardamom, warm spicy. I can I cannot feel it's uh, leathery. Mm -mm. And peppery. Black currant. Peppery. No. Black currant. No. Usually black currant, uh, you can feel it because it's so bright uh, scent, so intense. I don't know. Maybe it will be, it will de develop a little bit later. No, is it the same for you? Uh, it's something a little bit remind Vi me Victor from this. Victoria brought uh, rose on yet at the editor, and she thought like maybe. Something uh, it reminds because it's rose. Rose. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it smells a little bit because the same. But th this fragrance fragrance have this leathery feeling. I don't know, like a little bit something sharp because rose and miad more like soft. You think it's sharp? I think a it's bit, soft. A bit. Yeah, I think. I mean, I mean, if to compare between this fragrance, like more sharper than this one. Okay. Than uh, rose and miad. For um, and you know the story. Um, why, why, like to whom, uh, to who it's dedicated? No. To the rock band groupies, mm -hmm. like the like girls who always follow the rock band, like everywhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Like fans. Fans, like fans. Yeah, nowadays mm -hmm. it's not like more like groupies. Surprised. So <laughs> for me. I don't feel the sharpness. For me, it's soft. Yeah, now I can feel more like sweat type rose. I don't feel the spices. I don't feel the black currant. No, this nothing. Yeah. So color. Tada! Yeah, I think it's the same color that I see. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Something like pastel, kind of uh, relaxed uh, colors. Occasion. Occasion. To go to concert of rock band. I don't. I, 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 I don't. I don't feel nothing connected with the rock band, with this energy of rock band. Maybe only with a sorry. Maybe connection with a 
soft song, uh, soft rock songs. Like, uh, I don't know, like from Meta on Metallica have a lot of soft rock songs, so like, like they're ballads. Mm -hmm. So kind of ballads. For me... But these only girls, this. I mean, I think uh, how they, they did this meaning about this fragrance, like uh, rose, it's about girls, and leather, about this... Uh, yeah, the kind of jacket. Rock, rock, yeah, rock yeah, style jacket. Maybe okay. Something okay. Like this. So, will it be to to the rock concert or? No, I don't think so. It's like I I I, I told you just okay. just to. I'm, I I think that can be the signature fragrance, but for a person who don't want to smell like too feminine, who want to show that uh, inner. Inner me is quite different and not so easy, girl. Yeah, and it's like you know the contrast because rose and leather, so yeah. you can feel like yeah, and I'm still girl. But would you think this uh, fragrance is unisex or not, or mm -hmm. it's feminine? I think it's absolutely unisex. I would like to check the what fragrance cassettes. I'm just curious what the people say. Um, unisex a little bit feminine. Mm. So let's move to the next one. Yeah. And the next one will be new in our store, Tommy Ayomi, special edition from Xerjov. This fragrance also in a rock style, Black Sabbath. Is it, I think Black Sabbath is a rock, rock brand as well. I'm, I'm not a fan, but sorry if you're a fan. So again, I, 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 I think most of the people when they think about the um, rock music, it's something leathery patchouli. Yes, can you say <laughs> leather patchouli? <gasps> There's um, passion fruit, bergamot, geranium, mm. cinnamon, patchouli, leather, rose, caramel, vanilla, tonka bean. and cam caramel. You can feel tonka bean, uh, sandalwood, labdanum, ambergris, and musk. So. According to what I smell, is um, leather, slightly something boozy fruity. Boozy, I feel boozy. Yeah. It's like. And caramelly. Caramelly? Yeah, I can feel I, I this like feel... like this tangy feeling from caramel. I feel patchouli, leather, and uh, um. So you like, like you you was a groupies and did this one and that. This one is for groupies, and this one is for groupies who already go to the band and like do the party. Maybe. Again, cold weather fragrance. Yes. Leathery, yes. Uh, boozy, yes. I think this booziness will be pretty, pretty beautiful on the man. More, more masculine fragrance yes. for sure. Yes, for sure. Because I don't, maybe it can be, you know, some girls like these fragrances. Yeah, but mostly. But for me, no. It's yeah. more masculine. Wow. Oh. Color? Black. <laughs> nothing. Black, black leather. Black leather and nothing else. Uh, yeah. This color is pretty obvious here. What you think it's a special occasion or it can be everyday fragrance? No. <laughs> it's this, this is definitely not everyday fragrance. It's something when you're going out and these boozy vibes and the sweet vibes. I think it's something about the dates. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe the concert, but for me, the booziness and the sweetness of this fra fragrance will uh, give us uh, the feeling of something seductive, provocative, seductive. Provocative. Yeah. Seductive. I think I will ooh, do this for someone. <laughs> don't come. Uh, because, because you don't like rock. I like, but I like, for example, this is about rock. Okay. Yeah, Black Sabbath maybe too. <laughs> Not for me. Not for you. Yeah. So I even don't know free. what is it. <laughs> yeah, me as well. I I know. I know the name. I know. I, I like. I have imagination, but I never heard any of the songs of okay. Black Sabbath. But we all different. No judges. And we will move to the new one. Uh, also in our collection is Torino Twenty One. We had before Torino Twenty Two, which is. It's a different one. Yeah, they're absolutely different. they all dedicated to the tennis tournament oh, in Torino. Okay. And from year to year, they will be different. And also, wow. if you're a collectioner, you should know that. That Terzhov 
launch this fragrance in limited quantity. Only 1861 bottles will be produced. After that, no more bottles. And it's the same for Torino 22. Yep. All like 21, 22, 23 should be coming soon. Mm -hmm. And I think 24 as well. Next year. Okay. Oh, yeah, after. I don't so know. this is special for for a collection? For, for collectors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like, if you have a collection and if you like to have a rare fragrances in your, in your collection. Torino line, doesn't matter, 21, 22. Perfect for that. I would like to know. The notes. notes yes. Okay. <laughs> well, I think it's fresh. Something citrusy here. Yeah. Citrusy, green. Maybe eucalypt something because I feel maybe basil, I don't know. Maybe basil. Uh, Let's let see. us see. Or mint, maybe, I don't know. Mint. Mint, mint lemon, lemon, basil. basil. Thyme, Thyme exists. black currant, rosemary, lavender, jasmine, lemon mm -hmm. verbena, and musk. Oh, actually, that second fragrance was lemon verbena that we had. Lemon verbena. Um. We uh, we just have it somewhere here. So it's mix of uh, greens, mint, basil, and ro rosemary. Yeah, like a lot of green, mm, citrusy green, I would say. But lavender is pro pretty prominent, you can feel it. I have problem with uh, lavender, <laughs> but I feel black currant. You know, uh, more I see this uh, fragrance, lemon verbena, rosemary, lavender, more I would like to compare it with uh, uh, Date in Paris mm -hmm. by Pepozo. Because the note... This one reminds me of something from uh, Megama. Notes, listen notes. Orange, grape seed, rosemary, salt iris, plum, algae, heliotrope. No, no. Maybe it's, maybe it was French kiss? Not maybe French Paris. kiss, yeah, because... Yes, French kiss. But no, no only, only lavender verbena. No. Okay. Okay. So... Where would you like to wear this fragrance? I think it can be everyday fragrance. It's fresh. It can be summer fragrance. Yeah. Um, I think it will be much more perfect for, uh, for, for spring. I think it's amazing for spring because it uh, have a feeling of nature awakening. Because yeah, green, because green. Of green. yeah, because of the greens. Uh, it's fresh. It's citrusy as well. So I think that's something. Um, it's unisex and more masculine. Hmm. I, I would say it's maybe more unisex. This greenness, I don't know, is kind of... Yeah, agree, agree. More unisex. Um, it don't have any gender. For anyone who would like to feel something... Um, the feeling of uh, of awakening of the nature during the spring. Yeah. So I think that the fragrance is perfect, perfectly show us the spring, how itself, this green feeling... Uh, Fresh. Like flowers that blooming. First flowers that bloom in. Yeah. And the color of, of the fragrance, I, f I feel like it's free or oh, green. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For me as well. Not a blue one. But I think it's just a color yeah, of the, of of the, of the, of the yeah. collection. Yeah. And uh, if, you, if you take a look on the, on the box, I think it's something with a green. Maybe, maybe, you know, the idea here is to show uh, the green grass of the court. Maybe. But this, no, on the court, there is no grass. Bad. It's tennis ball. Uh, on the tennis, do they have a grass on the court? Oh, so they play on the grass? Yeah, court. Three types of court. Clay, grass, and hard. So experts have tell, told us that in UK they have a green grass course. Mm -hmm. And um, for in my mind, yes. Especially, Especially Wimbledon. Okay. Torino is far from Wimbledon, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> we need to understand. Yeah, it, it has a feeling of something fast, um, like moving, green, green yeah. fresh. Yeah. So yeah, mm, I would agree um, with the conception of the fragrance. Unisex, spring, summer. What else? And the color, yeah, I would say. Green, green, yeah. That's it. Move to 400. GTS. Yeah. C. GTC 400. Yeah. 
this collection is goes to join the club and join the club in general they do already some mystery in the fragrances and the mystery is about the notes uh, Sergio by itself yeah. not do not disclose the notes behind the fragrance it's what it called what else and something else wait uh, where did you find and, it and uh, something else show me show me immediately <laughs> there is no notes during the during the club, um, they don't have uh, any notes. Uh, on their website, it's yeah. uh, th That means it's not official. Mm. It's something in the style of good girl going bad, mm. Sintra, but less punchy, more rounded, like Sintra from Memo. Honey with bitter orange and the orange blossom. It's, um... This honey, powdery, sweet feeling. Rose, yes. No. <laughs> so intense. Intense. Yeah. Intense. This one uh definitely for cold weather. Intense fragrance. Sweet. The structure of the honey, even more like honey comps, maybe. Oh now 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 it's better. <laughs> now it's better. And the color of the fragrance I I would agree with Like this. honey. Yeah, like, like honey. Yeah. Absolutely. Like honey, yeah, absolutely agree. This one for me smells more feminine. Feminine, yes. But you know, most people say it's for men. Unisex, mostly. 82 for unisex. More, ah, unisex. And just 75 for fem, female. Unisex. Oops. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of really strange uh, fragrance for me. If, if there is about male one, unisex. You see, even in the pros, they say unisex. Or we say it's honey. Like a honey, yeah. <laughs> Yellow like a honey. Uh, it's honey slightly bitter because of the oranges. I would say, yeah, it's cold weather fragrance for ladies, but as we saw in the fragrance, yeah. up to you. Uh, I would say this one is something for for the dates because it's honey, it's bitter, so it's kind of a little bit provocative mm -hmm. or to be noticeable in a crowd. This, this type of fragrance. It's um, not the fragrance for um, signature fragrance, no. not relaxing. It's something... Not for office. <laughs> yeah, not for office, for sure. <laughs> it's something for... Uh, keep uh, attention on you. Exactly. Keep an eye on you. So let's... Um, yeah, uh, choose choose the best one for what you heard. Yeah. I will choose maybe... I will choose uh, this one. I would agree. Yeah, and second will be maybe... This. Even right now? Yeah, it's it more smells like a green tea. Yeah, and it's so become like soft. I don't know. This is so beautiful green f fragrance. Yeah, I will agree. Uh, Torino 21 is the best choice. Second one, Holy Rose. But I think it's mostly because it's more light, comforting fragrance. And uh, yeah, it's like it's like signature scents like for everyday yeah. fragrance. But th this one is like for special occasions. Yeah, right? it's, and. Uh, Fragrances for special occasion, you need to show your individuality. Yeah. And this, these two fragrances just don't have too much uh, common in us. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we cannot find something like, close to ourselves. So that's why for us it's not the best one in today's four. I would say Tomi Ayomi, really nice. This boozy vibes, Even pretty now interesting. Become, uh, yeah, interesting, yeah. It's something interesting, provocative. And for sure, 400 will be really provocative because of the honey and the, this bitterness of the orange. What are your thoughts? Uh, share with us. It's really interesting to know your opinion about these fragrances. And welcome to our store to yeah. try or to buy. Exactly. Stay fragrant and stay tuned to our channel. See you. Bye.